Jesus Christ, that's loud. We must keep him alive at all costs. At all costs. We must use emergency aids. Fucking shit, man. Christ, that's loud. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hello. You are now between life and death. And death, and death. I am now? Was I not yesterday? You are going through an impending death experience. Okay. My name is Igbal. Okay. I am the one who will decide whether you should stay alive or join the afterlife. Uh huh. To decide, I will test you through the ordeal I have prepared for you. If you succeed, you, succeed, you, succeed, you can return you can to life. Return to life. But if you fail, if you fail, you will join the afterlife. After after Doctors, electric contraction will allow you to research your heart rate. I have several attempts to drain this Oh, so the doctors are in on it. Once your heart beats drops, it drops. The test will be offered for That's what the dispensing death experience is. Now it is time for you to begin your audio. I wish you good luck. So the doctors are just cool with it. They're just they're like, yo, Iqbal is that kooky character again. He's always taking people on some death trip between life and death and then expecting us to bring him back when he fails some stupid test. It happens all the time. All the goddamn time. Because that's just normal. Well, there was no menu. Oh, no, there is a menu. All right, whatever. Hey, what's up, guys? My name, of course, is Wings, and welcome to a free indie horror game on itch.io called Iqbal's Judgment. I don't really know anything about it other than what was just explained to me in the beginning. Saved me from having to read the description on itch.io, so good on you there. Um, it's a game where you gotta get out alive and you got five tries, and you better not make any noise or Iqbal's gonna fuck your butt. Other than that, let's jump into this shit, shall we? Link to this game will be in the description, eh? You download it for yourself. Alrighty. Uh, change difficulty. Easy. Ideal level of, of difficulty to learn and to play avoid making noise. No, we're not going to be a little bitch. Normal. Ideal level of difficulty for thrill seekers. Avoid making noise. What about hard? The game becomes much more complex. Resources are scarce, scarcer and enemies are faster. Finishing the game on hard difficulty will allow you to unlock the extreme mode. Avoid making noise. We're going to go with normal for now. Obscurity mode turns off all the lights, which adds a extra, little extra difficulty as well as guaranteed chills. Yeah, we're not gonna do that because I don't know if you get a. I, I see a flashlight there, but it doesn't say anything like all you have is your flashlight. No, it just says it turns off all the lights. I don't like games where I can't see. I need to at least be able to see to play your game. So we're gonna not do obscurity. We're gonna do this on normal. So let's go. Walk to the move, interact, left shift to run, escape is pause, space is jump, tab to open, close inventory, F flashlight, B is use battery, Z is set a trap, hold C to crouch, Jesus Christ, get in touch with the objects to interact with them. Um, your goal is to escape from the house using the objects you find, but be careful, Igbal won't let you escape so easily. Doctors are going to use five electrical shocks, so you're going to have five tests, but after those five tests, death will be waiting for you. Above all, avoid making noise. Tip, you can hide under a bed or in a locker. Alrighty, sounds like a fun time, buckaroos. Strap in, because this one might suck or be great. You never know. I might get extremely mad at this. This seems like it's going to be a, a bit of a longer game, so I'm glad I picked this one for just a single play. I was going to do a three free indie horror games tonight, but I'm kind of pinched for time, what with the whole two videos a day thing until we get Layers of Fear 2 done. First electric cardio version. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You wake up. Why is my mouse on screen? Please go away when the game starts. I'm begging you. Oh, okay, there we go. Can I... Um... I can't change the FOV. Please add an FOV slider, or just zoom the FOV out a bit. Uh, I have one battery left. B to use battery. Okay. Uh, Peter flashlight, I'll turn it off and on. Flashlight, tab to open inventory. Okay, I don't know how much battery we have. Oops, my bad. It landed on carpet, so it... Uh, sorry! Jesus! You touch anything! 
and it fucking breaks. Oh, I hear something. Okay, we might be fine. It sounded like the when this opened, it sounded like the door opened behind me. Oh, that just magically appeared. What am I? Are my arms bound? Oh, I just I have no arms. I have no hands. What? Am I a ghost? I can see through my legs. What in the hell is going on? Oh, Mr. Iggy Ball. Oh, Iggy. Okay. Looking for items. Okay, all right. Found a battery. So this is just granny. What's that? Oh, picked up a handle. Okay, we got a handle. That goes on a doorknob somewhere. I'm sure. Picked up a rare plant. Let's shut that. I hear noise. Oh, that opened by itself. Oh, that's a light switch. I'm hearing all kinds of noises, man. Um. Whoa, that frame drop. Holy fudge. So I'm trying to avoid making noise. But is anything even really there? I'm, I'm sure there's a monster. I'm sure. Oh, I don't like this room. Damn it. Avoid making noise. The second you walk into a room, everything falls. I I have to restore power to the main power for stairs. That goes to the stairs. Okay. That turns on the stairs. Where is Iggy? We easy. Let's open that just in case. We need to hide. Uh, I'm sorry. I bet there's something behind that painting. Nope. I am sadly mistaken. Oh, look at that, a battery. What's going on? I hear noises. A lot of noises. Bathroom. Awesome. Oh, bear trap. So Z to set trap. I got a... Handle. Okay. I don't know where he is. Can't open that. Anything in the toilet? These are the weirdest toilets I have ever seen. Let's open all these. Just in case we need to run and hide in one. They're ready to go. Egg ball's downstairs, isn't he? That little... I called it. Okay, hang on. Our flashlight's going dead. We have two batteries. So we have the lever. For we have the lever. Handle. We can throw it. Turn our flashlight off. Two batteries left. Open that up just in case. Need a wrench. Jesus, man. Everything makes so goddamn much noise. It's not even. Fucking. Garage. So what? If he's nearby. no water in the tank. What? There's plenty of water in it. What the hell? Dude, everything is falling. 
fuck apart. I don't trust that. No, close. Jesus. Oh, I fucked myself, haven't I? Garage. Um. Stuff is like falling off walls and then reappearing on the walls. What's in here? A battery, fuck yeah. Okay, so we need a wrench. And we need a code for this. I need a code. So we don't actually have to put in the code, we just need to find the code. Big ball, scary. Ooh. Oh, fucking shit, man. Oh, he just leaves me alone. He's just like, well, I lost him. Sorry, you went in a locker. Those are warded. I can't touch those. I can't touch metal. That just, just, just fucks me right up. Never, never come off the toilet. Kidding me? He's upstairs. Now's our chance. He came through the fucking wall, dude. Battery. Don't come back downstairs yet, Igball. I need you to not do that. What is that? Not in a space inventory. Pick this item up. Don't come in here. Okay, bye, egg ball. Okay. What is that, though? Um, let's put a trap. Where did egg ball go? Let's lay a trap for him when he comes back. Yeah. Ha! Ah, dipshit! <laughs> Who's the sly cat now? Oh, there's a valve. Damn it. Oh, I can jump. I need a valve. A valve. Okay. I have six batteries. Flashlight. A valve. Big valve. You can probably fix. Probably fix it somewhere. I can fix the valve somewhere. What's wrong with the valve? Oh no. Dude, egg ball is pretty fucking dumb. Not enough space. Okay, um... Let's throw out the rare plant. Let's grab the key. B. Door's locked from the other side. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. So we have a key, but was there a locked anything anywhere? Is he? <gasps> oh, he just can just on about his day. No big deal. I, you know, I, I get stuck in bear traps all the time. It, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't phase me more. I used to, but I'm, I'm cool with it now. It's, it's all good. Bear traps don't really have as much of an effect on me as they used to. So. Where is Iqbal? And is there a... So there's a hammer. Is that what I need? Let's throw something out. Let's get rid of this handle. No. Oh, fucking Iqbal, you son of a bitch! <laughs> God damn it, Iqbal, go away! <laughs> <laughs> what 
Yeah, that's right. You better go up them stairs, Iggy. Mr. Iggy boy. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Fucking Iggy wants me. Where is he? I can't really come out and look. You have no traps. God damn it. Oh, he knows. Oh yeah, he's coming. He knows. Hey, Iggy. Oh, I need to get down there. It's one place I haven't been yet. I didn't even think about that. I have a key. I bet it goes to somewhere down there. Yeah, that's right. You get stuck. <laughs> I like how he doesn't stop and turn around. Igbal not walked. Nidbal not never stop. Igbal just turn around. Oh. I thought it, I thought I was fucked right there. Okay. Igbal never stop moving. Igbal walk through wall. Nothing and nobody ever stop Igbal. So I'll tell you, I need a knife. Okay. Where do I find a knife? Where is that Iggy son of a bitch? I haven't opened I'm open this yet. Nothing. Where is he? Oh, he's upstairs. Okay. He's upstairs. I got a minute to look around. So, are these maps randomly generated? Oh, no. Iggy, why you be you? Okay, he can't see me unless he turns around. If I'm quick enough. Oh, where's he going? Hey, look, there's the wrench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Have it your way, Iggy. Can you drop something? Car key. Throw. What? What, what am I? The valve or hand? Hey, Iggy, Iggy, buddy. <laughs> I wonder where I could be. I wonder where I could be. I wonder. If only I could see further than two centimeters in front of myself. Oh no. I made a noise. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> where are you hiding? I don't know, but I bet if you used your brain just a little bit harder, you might find me. Where are you hiding? Thank you for moving that... I Iggy? Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Bye, Iggy. Where are you hiding? I don't know, but I bet if you look a little harder, you might find me. Okay, what did I need the wrench for? This. I need the wrench for this. Did he hear that? No, he didn't. Okay. What's downstairs? The knife. Oh, I bet he heard that. Is he coming? Oh, he heard that. He did. It's okay. I'm going downstairs. I'm going to the garage. Um, for by what did that say? I have to restore the main power first. Oh fuck! How do I restore the main power? Oh, he just gave up. He got halfway down, and he was like, "Fuck!" He went to a locker. Uh, I guess it's all downhill from there.
Oh, nobody's right there. Bye, Iggy. I hate being like this rude to Iggy, but he kind of brings it on himself, honestly. Workshop. Locked. That's what the key's for. No, that's just a car key. There's probably where the main power is. How do we get in the workshop? No, he's not coming down. We're good. Battery. Take that. Five batteries. At least there's a locker down here. We picked up ammo. Look, friend, I've been all throughout this fucking area and I haven't seen a gun anywhere. I mean, we can pick it with a lock. We can pick the lock with something. Okay, what do you want to pick it with? I can pick it with my nose because I can, I can pick my nose pretty well. Don't come down here, Iggy. You know you don't want to. You know you can't best me. He knows. He knows he can't best me. That's just not even something that he can do. He understands. We have a mutual agreement. He don't fuck me, I don't fuck him. What I need to know is what sounds Iggy can hear and what sounds Iggy can't hear. So we need something to pick that log. I got you. He's directly above me though. No, he's right there. Okay, how he did not hear me is beyond me. Okay, so there's the knob. We have to remember where all these things are. Does he hear when I open stuff like that? Oh, if he comes in here, I'm fucked. He's... <laughs> I say that like he has half a brain. I pick up. So I have the valve, battery, flashlight. Uh, hook. I bet I can pick the lock with that. So what in God's name happens on... Jesus, I thought he fucking discovered me. I thought I was... I thought I'd been had. Um, I wonder what happens on higher difficulties. Does he even get any harder? Like, what really happens? I bet if he wasn't so stupid and so loud, he might be able to get away with something. What's in there? Uh, okay. Throw the cheese, the car key. Okay. Oh, shit. He heard that. I don't think the flashlight even matters. Dude, he is on his fucking way. He is on a mission. He is coming. I don't, I don't quite think he, he knows how to come down here. If you just looked for two seconds, two seconds longer, you might have found me. Two seconds longer and you might have, you might have actually had a chance at finding me. If you had just looked two seconds longer, you might have actually stood a chance. But I have the master key though. That key to the main door. Okay, let's just go open the main door. Where's the main door, though? If he had just... He's above me. If he had just looked an inch longer... Had you had just looked a second longer. Does he even notice me if I stand here? He doesn't. Wow. Got it. We gotta love Iggy. He he's trying. Okay, he's he's trying. 
He's trying so hard, and we give him so much hell. This door's locked from the other side. Okay. Iggy's doing his best, all right? What is that? It's the lever. The handle. Oh, no. Iggy's on his way. Oops. Oh, um, Iggy's on his way. Might as well skedaddle. <laughs> Just, he doesn't even care! Ran right past me! He didn't give no fucks! There's gotta be something down in the basement that we didn't do. Gotta be. There has to be. Or there's, there's an item down here we didn't pick up. I tell you, I've looked all over this fucking basement. Wait, these are huge barrels. Okay. Yeah, they're huge barrels. What about them? What, are they blocking something? You know, I hear all these noises down here, but I don't actually think they mean anything. Jesus H. Christ! Are you as dumb as Iggy? Huh. You seem to be a little bit smarter than Iggy. Main power. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not quite as... You're you're no Iggy, but you'll do. So that was him stip stomping around. So the power's on. Bye. Power's on now. Um that's still locked. So he patrols the basement, one can assume, and Iggy's going to patrol the upstairs. Unless Iggy's stuck down here still trying to figure out what just fell. Yeah, he's on his way. He can't. He can't quite make it. I need it. I need an engine and hammer to run the elevator. But where are you going? Is this open? It's open. Okay, he's coming this way. I have to hide. So what, does he come all the way down in the circle around? It looks like he does. Don't mind little old me. Just chilling. They don't even care about the flashlight, honestly. He is trying so hard. I feel so bad for Aki. You almost can't make it up the fucking stairs sometimes. Okay, stairs. Where's the engine? Hmm. Let's drop the magazine that I have. I have a magazine, don't I? Car key. Handle. Master key. Damn it. Um. Throw away the valve. Need these things open just in case. So all those items are up here. If I should need them. You learned the code. Awesome.
help! Oh my god, Iggy fucked me. Iggy fucked me. He finally got me, and it was sweet revenge. Okay, I think we're doing good. That's only our first time getting caught, and... I think we're pretty good, honestly. Do we still have everything? Oh shit, boy, we do. We're home free. Successfully entered. So then... What did that do? What did the code do for us? Oh. Iggy, buddy. Yeah, you're fine. You got it. Iggy's got it. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Just don't don't mind me. I'm just, just going to leave. Jesus. They didn't hear that. I don't know what the hell. What the fuck? Okay, so we have um, a quick back and forth. I'll get that shit out of the way. Go for it, Iggy. Go get it, buddy. You got me once. That'll probably be the only time you ever get me, so. Okay, so let's go down to the garage. Cause now we have that unlocked and we- Oh, we know where the car key is. We dropped the car key up top. Alright. Magazine. Battery. Uh, I must first remove the wooden boards before opening the garage door. Damn it. False alarm, Iggy. Nobody here. Occupado. Uh, wheel is missing. I need a hammer to put it back. I need a key. Do I not have the... <clears throat> I need a hammer to put it back. Where's the wheel? It's in the trunk. No. Where could the wheel be? It Wouldn't it be in the garage with everything else? You son of a bitch. Where in the fudging fubbernuck am I gonna get all this shit? Need the key to get into the car. Okay, let's go get the car key. <clears throat> Bye, Iggy. Whoops. We're fine. Even if he comes up here, we're fine. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice this. Battery. Now we're just knocking shit over on purpose. Okay, so... Got the car key. There's a knob. Got the valve right there. There's another clip. Or a magazine, sorry. Not a clip. Dude, come on. What am I touching? Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I am literally stuck. Oh my god, why am I stuck? No. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. I'm out. Okay. Thank god. I was so worried. Oh, what is this? I got a lighter. I think I know what the lighter goes to. Do we risk going down this way? Damn, he got over here quick. Nah, he won't see me. I can say with at least 80% certainty that he won't see me. So we have the car key. Let's go see if there's something in the car. Oh, there's a lever there. There's something to pull. I, I pulled that. 
Let's get Frumpty over here. There he comes. Oh, this time you saw me, you son of a bitch. So can we hide from them in the car? Okay, first you remove the wooden boards before opening the garage door. So how do I remove the wooden boards? I pulled that thing. I don't know what it does, but it did something. Let's go look in these rooms. Oh, it opened this. Oh. Is there another rare plant improves human skills? What do you mean it improves human skills? No traps set. Um, what were the controls again? Nothing to use any kind of. Special abilities get in touch with the object. Okay, you just screen and avoid bringing down objects. You can hide under beds and in lockers. Oh I can I, did, I, I didn't know I could hide under beds Okay, I don't know what these are fucking for so we have that open nice little shortcut I guess Guess if you if you could call anything a shortcut, I guess that would be a shortcut. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. God, dude, he never leaves you alone, does he? Like, once he's on you, he's fucking on you. So what did that code do? Bye. Code did something. Let's go upstairs. Oh, another battery I missed. So we can actually. Oh shit, he's gonna come up here, isn't he? God! <laughs> Damn it, my knees can't bend that far. Where are you hiding? I don't know, but I bet if you crouch down two centimeters, you might know. Oh! My god, it's right here! Um. Throw the lighter. Damn it. Um, master key. No, get rid of the master key. Stop it. There we go. We got the wheel. So there's the valve. We have to remember that's there. We have the knob. I'm not sure what the knob would go to oh he can't come upstairs okay a lot of space he can't come up here isn't that wonderful he went downstairs didn't he I just gotta go to the garage now Oh, no, he turned around. How did I not die there? You're an unpredictable thing, you. Quite the unpredictable little shit you are. G you're kidding me, right? The elevator doesn't work again. Why did the elevator work? Okay, now it works. The gun picked up a broken pistol. What's... He's like, you son of a bitch. I'm on to you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, shit. I got out. No fucking way. No fucking way. That's how we get in that room, isn't it? That's how we get in that locked room, isn't it? Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Okay. Well, what's in here? This is the last place any of the items could be. Something's got to be in here. God damn it. Okay. Key to the main door. Handle, you can probably fix it somewhere. But. <sighs> door handle. So it says it's a drawer handle. Um. Oh my god. I got what I need. I got what I need. Oh, you're back now? Oh, okay. Um Okay. Bullets. What is this? Inventory weight has been increased. Awesome. Okay. But I need a battery. There doesn't seem to be. Oh, no, there is. There is. Awesome. You fixed the gun. Holy shit, boys. We got this. Oh, boy. Wouldn't you like to know? What in the fuck? What you mean game over? I didn't even shoot. I press E. Does E also fire the gun? Does E also fire the fucking gun? If it is, it's stupid. God damn it, I was doing so good. I felt so great about myself. I found all the shit I needed. I put it where I needed it all to go. I was doing great. I was on a roll. I only died like once. We were good, or twice. Once or twice. I don't know. I was supposed to have five lives, apparently, and I did. Only had fucking three, apparently. Or two. I don't know how many times I died. I have to watch it back. That was pretty good. You know, I might actually give this another go at some point. Maybe. So, right off the bat, the graphics are they're kind of shitty. The animations stink. Um, the AI is horrible. But the game's fun. The game's pretty fun. When it's not having frame issues and when it's not freaking the fuck out and when stuff isn't glitching all over the place, it's fun. It's pretty damn fun to play, I would say. It's, it's, it's a granny game. And if done right, granny games can be all right. This one's okay. It's not good, but it's okay. I, I could see myself get, garnering another run of this and actually beating it. I guess I wasn't supposed to press E with the gun because I just shoot the barrels and die. I guess that's what happened. I don't know. I didn't see my gun shoot. I just pressed E on the barrels and it exploded. I don't know if this is a demo or what it is, but I'm assuming this is the full release. But if it's a demo, whatever, okay, that's fine. If it's full release, fuck you. <laughs> that was bullshit. I made it, damn it. All I had to do was fuel up the fucking gasoline, rip the boards off. I need the axe. That's what I need to get the boards off of stuff. I need to find the axe, and I don't know where the hell to even start to look for the axe. And then that little, the workshop there at the end. That was, that was, that was pretty cool. You got to get into the workshop and make some cool shit. And you get buffs and stuff. That's, that's neat. I like it. I like this game. Um, it, like I said, it's, it's, it's buggy, it's wonky, stuff will uh, disappear and reappear. You barely get anywhere near something and it just falls. It just makes a noise. Um, but it, it doesn't matter because the AI is awful. And I think it, I don't think it should be changed. I think the AI should stay exactly the way it is. I like the AI exactly how it is. I think it's perfectly fine how it is. Because you have so much more fun 
looking for the shit, knowing that there's a slight chance it could get you, but you have more fun just poking fun at, at Iggy. And I guess death is the one in the basement. I have no idea. But he disappeared for a bit. He was nowhere to be found for a little while. I don't know what the hell happened to him. All right, so that was Igbal's judgment. Ig Igbal's judgment. Uh, let me know if you guys saw this game in the comments below. Do you want me to revisit it? Do you want me to finish it? I'll think about it. There's no guarantees, but I might give it another whirl at some point if you guys want. That's pretty fun. Uh, link to this game will be in the description if you want to play it for yourself. I recommend trying it out. It's a, it's a fun little game. It'll keep you busy for <sighs> over an hour. Um, but yeah, it's it's all right. Not great, but pre pretty okay. So that's all I really have to say about this game. We'll end this here. I'll see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smack the share like button, show support for my channel. And why not subscribe to ensure you're not late to party my notes videos. I upload videos every single day except for Saturday and Sunday, and sometimes I stream on the weekends. So be sure to tick that little bell icon to ensure you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I was y'all be wonderful, beautiful as human beings. In the next video. Goodbye, guys.